Hoffman getting ready for what should be another great NFL matchup. Glad you could be with us. Tonight's game promises to be a good one. Both teams extremely well prepared as the visiting team gets set to take on the home team. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Matt. I tell you, if you're looking for someone to watch on defense, take a look at what he does all game long. Maybe he'll take on two blockers to free up someone else to make the play, or just plow over some lineman to get a sack. I'll tell you, when you talk about a defensive lineman, you're talking about this guy. The home team will need their running game to be at its best, otherwise it could be in for a long day. The best way to neutralize the defense is by running right at them, so look for this back to get a lot of carries early on. They'll also use the run to set up a few long throws if they see that that safety is creeping up to the line of scrimmage. Wow, look at that pile of guys down there jumping and yelling. You can tell they can't wait to get out there in the field. Both teams ready for tonight's showdown, so let's head to the field for the kickoff. The home team are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the two-yard line to the 20. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. It's first and 10. it off. Hampton makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. Just about a three-yard game. Second and seven coming up here. They come out of the nickel. McNabb sends a man in motion. Drops back with the pass. It's going the other way. Clearly not the way you want to start offensively, John. You sure don't. That's one of those plays that can really swing the momentum. John, nobody's looking for a defensive struggle out there as we have two of the best offenses in the NFL going head-to-head. -head. The thing about both these teams is they're not just one dimension. If something doesn't work, they make the adjustment and they come at you in another way. I'm looking for lots of big plays in this one. Bolger with a man in motion. Going to the left. The defender goes down. He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your deep cleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got a depleter. Second and nine. Holmes, the lone setback. Brooks stops the play in the backfield. Big loss there on the tackle by Brooks. That was a heck of a play. He has great speed and used it to fly through the line and take down the ball carrier. The 20-yard line would net them a first down here on this third down play. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Gets the call. Goes to the end zone. Pass goes incomplete. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top for everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. The kick is up. The veteran kicks it through. No problem for him. Whatever the situation, he'll approach it the same way. Cool and smooth. The home team are set to kick it deep. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. 
from the five. To the 20. Their defense looking for a second straight interception. So they have first and ten here. The home team come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Dropping back to pass on first down. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Gildan makes the stop at the 34. Second and short of coming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with a play fake and look for something deep. Or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Thomas gets right in there and brings him down. Good job knifing in there to bring him down. He brings a lot of things to the table. But the thing I like the most is how prepared he always is. I mean, he can run and he can tackle. And he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play. The home team come out in a nickel package. Going to the left. Good play in the backfield. That play wasn't going anywhere except backward. I tell you, sometimes the back needs to know when to just go down. Because he's trying to make something happen that's not going to happen, and they end up losing a bunch of yards. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. So they have first and ten here. Only one man back. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Holmes couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Folger looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Drops back. Gets the pass off. And it's caught. The receiver did a nice job creating some separation, enabling him to make the reception. The defense needs to keep track of that guy a little better. He can make that kind of grab anytime. Third and five. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Throwing incomplete pass. The incompletion brings up fourth down. <laughs> Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Here's the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. Ball on their own 22. Henderson Bracken, makes the stop at the 23-yard line. Gain of about a yard. Nine yards to go. The bats are lined up in an eye. Shovel takes him down at the 33. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. He just exploded towards the marker that time. That was a big time run. First and 10. Let's play to the right. Thomas records the tackle at the 33 yard line. One yard gain on that play. So it's second and ten. Portis, the lone back. 
Under pressure, gets the pass off, almost got it. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. That one looked like it slipped out of his hand a little bit while he was winding up to throw it. Fifth play of this drive. The home team come out in a nickel packet. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Two tip passes in a row. Yeah, and that's an adjustment the quarterback has to make. Kardaki comes into the game for the punt. The quarters will go back to accept this punt. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. So they have first and ten here. Only one man back. Is the guy who was there to bring him down at the 39. Good game there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. It's first and ten. Holmes, the deep man. He'll get it again. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Holmes was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. They line up in the I formation. Gets the pass off. A little off target, but caught. No trouble making that catch. That's what these receivers are always looking for. A soft coverage or a hole in the zone where they can break free and wait for the pass to get there. A little over four to go. Tomlinson, the lone back. With the pass, incomplete. Way too high with that pass. Comes out to punt for the second time. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. First and ten. Ford in the backfield. He'll pass on first down. With the throw, and he makes the grab. Williams stops him at the 29-yard line. How about that speed? Great individual effort. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. Picked up nine on the play. About a yard to go. Pressure with the pass. Hits the fullback with a short pass to the right side. Caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense is real good at putting a quick end to completion. Third and inches. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. Found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there.
The quarters sets up to run back the punt. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. First and ten. Back goes in motion. Throwing on first down. With the pass, picked off. The pass rush had a lot to do with that interception. That's exactly what happened out there. He felt the rush coming, and he was coming so fast that he threw it up for grabs, and he paid for it. I'm sure that he wished he had that one back as soon as he let it go. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Pass play here on first down. With the throw, perfect pass. The powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throw, this guy really let it go. It's first and goal. Portis, the deep man. Portis. Now this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points in the board. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. The visiting team are ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. From the four. Two to the 20. The last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw and picked up a takeaway. Ball on their own 24. Only one man back. Gets rid of it. Comes up with it. Lewis makes the tackle at the 36. The touch pass finds the receiver for the first down. And the receiver did a nice job of hauling in that high pass to get it. First and ten. Holmes, the lone back. Folger with a man in motion. Dropping back. Launches this one to the left. Pass goes incomplete. Got the coverage he was looking for, but a great defensive effort forces the incomplete pass. Folger scans the defense from the gun. With the throw. And the catch is made. Nice read. Finding the receiver who is in single coverage. The ball is right at midfield. Holmes, the lone setback. Beck, the man in motion. Throwing on first down. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Lewis made a great defensive play, tipping the pass away. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Fifth play of this drive. Comes in motion. Get up, get up. Get up. 
Looking for room. They'll go with a play fake. And this pass is complete. Good read finding the single coverage in the secondary. First and ten. The bats are lined up in an eye. Gets the call. Great fake. It's on the ground. The visiting team. Wall on. That was a backwards pass, and it's ruled a fumble. Not a good read or a throw. He should have went somewhere else with the ball. They line up in the I formation. to the ground. Anthony makes the stop at the 44. Four-yard gain on the play. They'll have to get the ball inside the 37 in order to convert. Steps up with the pass. On the Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. Johnny had a big speed advantage. Yeah, he's one of those guys who's a good straight line runner. So you can't let him get behind you. If you do, then there aren't going to be too many guys who are going to be able to run and catch him. The bats are lined up in an eye. Pressure coming, throwing short to his left. And a fumble. The visiting team. So they get a second chance. They just dodged a bullet on that one. Now they have to do a better job of hanging on the ball because they might not be so lucky the next time. Second and long coming up here. McNabb back in the shotgun. Flings it to the outside. Lieber gets right in there and brings him down. They went back to the screen. The screen pass requires that you have some quick linemen who can move wide to the tackle and set up blocks for the guy coming out of the backfield. They'll convert for the first down if they can get the ball inside the 21. The defense lines up in the nickel. Surveying the field. Under pressure, Bracken did a great job breaking through, getting there for the center. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. And he just made it look simple. Kardaki will come into this game to punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. First and ten. Hard right. Brooks records the tackle at the 22. Gain of three. Eight to go. Folger starts out of the shotgun. Slings it to the outside. Short pass completed to the wide receiver on the right side. Caught the pass but didn't go anywhere. Nope. They were on him like glue. So they dug themselves into a hole here. A long third down situation. The visiting team come out in a nickel back. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. One yard gain on that play. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the kick. From the 39. 
He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. It's first and ten. The backs are lined up in an eye. Throwing on first down. With the pass. Incomplete. Lieber got up and knocked that pass away. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. at the 49-yard line. So a gain of about one. Looking to convert on third down, they have to get it to the 42. The home team come out in a nickel pack. Again with the run. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. Two-yard game. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Inside their own 20. Folger out of the gun. Dropping back. Looking for an option. Gets the pass off. And it's caught. Bullock brings him down at the 19. Excellent gain on first down. These guys are just out there playing a little pitch and catch. They make it look easy. It's second down and one to go. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. He just unloaded on him. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. He picked up the first on that carry. Yeah, on that one, it was all about the interior linemen. They did a good job of knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. So we have first and ten here. Holmes, the lone back. Freeney makes the tackle at the 25. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. They need six. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pressure gets rid of it with the adjustment. He has it. That'll move the change, Sean. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. First and ten. Holmes, the deep man. Holmes. They'll go with a play fake. With the pass, Brooks makes the tackle at the 41. Folger has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. So they have first and ten here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Off to the tailback. Bullock makes the play at the 41 yard line. One yard gain on that play. Seventh play of this drive. And they need about nine. Rowing. And he makes the grab. Madison pulls him down at the 36. Folger completes the pass for a five-yard gain on second down. A 
They'll have to get the ball inside the 31 to convert for the first down. Bolger sends a man in motion. Drops back. He goes to the left side. Picked off. It's intercepted. Somehow he held on to the ball for an interception. He has some great hands, and that's one of his best assets. He actually played both sides of the ball in high school. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. Portis, the lone setback. McNabb with a man in motion. Closing in, good play in the backfield. Hampton uses his speed to get to the quarterback. Yeah, he's got some great moves, and he combines that with a very quick first step. Second and 15. The visiting team line up in a five-receiver set this time. Gets the pass off. And it's complete. Harrison didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Third and five coming up. Out of the shotgun. Offensive line looked like they just collapsed on that play. The offensive line has to get good movement on the staff of the ball for the inside run to work, and it didn't happen on that play. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7-3. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Here's the kick. 43 yard line. First and ten. It's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. Eight to go. Oh, the lone back. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. The deep man. With the pass, behind him, he has it. Bolger fires complete, and it's good for a first down. Yeah, he excels on third down. Some quarterbacks just do. It's first and ten. Home in the backfield. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the main coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running option routes and running them effectively takes a lot of repetition and practice. Home is the deep back. Under pressure, incomplete. He had a guy hanging all over him as he released it. He's lucky he was able to get rid of him, but he has to be careful. Passes like that can make for some easy interception. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Home, the lone setback. Beck, the man in motion. Drops back with the throw. 
and he hits his target. Porter picks up about four yards on that play, so they'll be looking at third down. They're within striking distance here. They come out of the nickel. Dropping back. Throwing. It's going the other way. He was looking for single coverage. Got it, but the throw was fourth target. Ball on their own 46. Porter in the backfield. Drops back. Goes with a short pass to the right side. And that brings up second down. Only one man back. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. It's first and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Dropping back to pass on first down. Thomas pulls him down at the 38. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in, picked up a handful in the process. And that's just the kind of thing he'll do. He's very good at creating opportunities with his leg. Five yards to go. The visiting team line up in a five-receiver set this time. Dropping back. Throwing. The third. Down he goes. At the 27 yard line. Good play to pick up the first, getting it to one of their speedsters. He's one of the most dangerous receivers. I like to get the ball in his hands because he can break a long one at any time. Inside enemy territory. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pressure throws over to his right. And this pass is completed. And it'll be second and less than two following that pass for decent yardage. I'll tell you, when you've got second and short, you can call just about anything and everything. Because if you don't get it on this play, you can always go back out there on third, and you'll still only need a yard or two for the first down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. William makes the tackle at the 12. The visiting team ran the ball successfully that time and it picked up another first down. That's three on the drive. Twelve yards needed to get into the end zone. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Portis couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. They go with the run once again. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. John is still trying to move the ball on the ground. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and helps to slow down those pass rushes. The home team come out in a nickel package. Steps up into the pocket. Throws one up in the end zone. Foot, and is able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of them so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Akers comes in for the extra point. The kick is up, and 
the extra point is good. Starting to get into the groove that's 14 consecutive points. It sure seems like they've figured out the best way to move the ball against this defense. And a great finish to that drive as they got into the end zone and the defense is going to have its hands full trying to keep them in check. They're really executing out there. Seems like just about every call they make works to perfection. If the defense can get them the ball back quickly here, they might be able to put this one away very early. Good distance. From the five-yard line to the 20. The last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw, picked up a take away. It's first and 10. Holmes, the deep man. Gives the ball off. Nice play fake. Looking for the long completion down the left side. A little lob doesn't find its intended target. The home team line up in the bunch formation. With the throw, sheds the pass. And it's complete. Bolger really put his body into that throw. That ball could have been shot out of a gun with the velocity it had on it. So they have first and ten here. The backs are lined up in an eye. And off to the tailback, diving, tackle to bring him down. And they were able to get to him before he got very far. This defense can really get after the ball. Once they figure out where the play is going, they do a great job shedding their block, Then they have closing speed to get to a ball carrier very quickly. Hey, hey, here we come. Looking for room, fakes the handoff. Rosen, and this pass is complete. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First and ten. Crosses it out to the right. Lewis created problems in the backfield on that play. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The ball is right at midfield. The home team come out with three receivers tight. Rowing, Simon with the stop at the 42. Thompson doing good work finding room in the secondary and he's been open four times tonight his fourth reception right there seventh play of this drive about six to go Folger starts out of the shotgun slings it to the outside and he's tackled behind the line looks like he's just shaken up we'll get the full report from Jill very shortly For the fourth time, he's brought in to kick the ball away. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Deep in their own territory. They're trying to spread out the defense with five wide receivers. The pass ball's incomplete. They can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. The home team come out in a nickel pack, dropping back with the throw. Incomplete pass. A little bit long overthrowing the receiver. That pass was thrown with so much velocity on it that the receiver never caught up with it. Oh, 
McMahon goes to work with an empty backfield. Launching this one deep down the middle. Incomplete. Thought he had something deep, but couldn't get that one to the receiver. Fourth down. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Here's the kick. Andy waves for the fair catch. First and ten. The visiting team come out in a nickel pack, looking for leverage. Barber makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. Picked up nine on the play. Under a yard to go. Gives the ball off. Brooks records the stop at the 35-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. So we have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Dives and brings him down at the 35. They ran it there. Yeah, that's an important part of this team's offense. They need to reach the 25 to convert. Only one man back. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Madison takes him down at the 21-yard line. Excellent recognition by the receiver, weaving the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to the end. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. They went back to the run on that play. That just goes to show you that the coach trusts the guy to hang on to the ball. They need to reach the 11-yard line to convert for the first down. Dropping back, closing in, flings it to the outside. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Folger from the shotgun. Tomlinson. They'll go with a play fake. Going for six. Incomplete. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top for everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. It's on its way. Plenty of distance on that one. Good kick. The home team have narrowed the gap. The home team are lined up for the kickoff. Nice kick and returnable from the five-yard line to the 20. The visiting team is looking to build its lead with this drive. First and 10. McNabb starts out of the shotgun. Throws it. He finds his man. 
It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Lieber makes the play at the 43. And they go at the defense with the run. They're going to keep running to see what the other team is willing to give them on the ground out there. It's second down and eight to go. Shockey moves in motion. Hit off again. Rodgers is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 46. Just a short pickup on that play, John. They're just trying to get this run established. When you can get it going on the ground, it really opens things up for the other options you have on offense. Now it's third and six coming up. The home team come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Newman with the tackle at the 39. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. to the right. Lieber makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. The coach is sticking to the game plan that he discussed with us this week. Yeah, he's the type of coach that think being more physical than the other team is the key to winning the game. He has his guys running hard and hitting hard, thinking that they'll have more gas left in the tank when the fourth quarter rolls around. Fortis, the lone setback. Hand off to the tailback. Thomas takes him down at the 29. Good pickup on that play as they try to get the running game going. Establish something big. I'd be running it with this guy, too. If he can keep getting runs and pick up four or five yards a pop, they should keep going to him. Because four or five yards per play is what they're going to need. The home team come out in a nickel package. With the pass, Baxter records the tackle at the 24-yard line. That's three times on this drive. They've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. He'll pass on first down. With the throw. Incomplete pass. And he drops an easy one. This is the ninth play of this drive. Only one man back. McNabb sends a man in motion. Gets rid of it. Picked off. It's intercepted. Saw the single coverage. Let it go, but the defense was there to pick it off. First and ten. No goal from the eye formation. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two ton truck pulling a trailer. Maybe a yard or two on that run. This offense is determined to establish a running game here in the first half. It's second down and seven to go. The home team come out in the bunch formation. Gets the pass off. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Ball right around midfield. With the throw behind him, he has it. Lewis with the tackle at the 48-yard line. Folger will add only about one yard to his numbers with that completion. Right. 
second and eight. The backs are lined up in an eye. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. The pass rolls incomplete. Too tall for the intended target. Fifth play of this drive. The visiting team come out in a dime package. Looking long down the right side of the field. Incomplete pass. It's tipped away by the cornerback. That's a good job of reading and timing the play so the receiver can't make the catch. Here comes the punter. He's gotten a lot of action so far. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. So we have first and ten here. Play to the left. Jammer makes the play at the 21 yard line. They're trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. They need five. McNabb sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Rowing. Completed pass to the wide receiver. They dumped it off on the screen on that play. That one didn't surprise the defense. They were right there to tackle the ball carrier. Third and seven. The home team come out in a nickel package. With the throw, William makes the tackle at the 31. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. John, I don't know how they didn't pick that one off. The quarterback felt a little pressure on that one, and it looked like he fired the ball out there before he wanted to. Fifth play of this drive. Only one man in the backfield. Harrison moves in motion. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Hampton explodes across the line of the snap and then makes his way to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's an important quality to have if you're going to excel as a pass rusher. Explosiveness. So it's third down and long. The home team come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Jammer makes the tackle at the 44. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. It's first and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Portis couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running play. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. Portis, the lone back, dropped behind the line for a loss of the cup. Portis couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. And we 
we've reached the two minute mark. The home team come out in a nickel package with the pass. <laughs> And it's caught. Jammer is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 48-yard line. The quarters back to return. Here's the punt. Puts it on the ground. The visiting team scoop up the live ball. And they have excellent field position now following the fumble recovery. Fortis, the lone back. Crumpler moves in motion. Play to the right, runs through the tackle. Baxter takes him down at the 10. A short pick up on that running play. These linemen need to get more aggressive out there. They're letting the defense control the line of scrimmage on that play. If they don't step it up soon, this could get worse in the second half. They need 10 for a score. Nickelback in this time. They'll go with the play fake. Shovel makes the stop at the nine-yard line. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. That's a good play by the defensive unit. They let the play develop, and they were right there to bring him down when he decided to run. Nine yards will get them six points. With the pass, the pass goes incomplete to Thomas. Displayed excellent anticipation. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Akers leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. And it's up. No doubt about that one. John, they've cashed in on the turnover opportunities. And those opportunities have led to points on the board. When you can convert turnovers into points, you really have a big advantage. The visiting team are set to kick it deep. Decent kick. We should have a return from the five-yard line. The home team will start the drive from the 19-yard line. First and ten. on a first down with the throw he finds his man loose ball the home team we cover it so we have a challenge the officials were going to review it whenever a questionable call happens in the last two minutes the review is called from upstairs clearly a big momentum shift could be in the making as we take a look at a possible fumble and they really had no choice but to challenge us because of what it could mean for both teams i don't know it's a tough call from seeing that angle
It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. The job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, but most of the times they're right. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. Bullock just made a great defensive play. He needs to do a better job putting the pass on a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. The visiting team come out in a dime package. Look left and hits his wide receiver with a short pass. Thompson didn't make it. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. Fair catch. So they have first and ten here. McNair back in the shotgun, throwing. Right to him. The 30. He has one. The 20. The 10. McNair finds his man and throws his second touchdown of the game. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's on its way, and he tacks on the extra point. John, they've cashed in on the turnover opportunity. That's for sure. They've made the most of every turnover opportunity out there. The visiting team are ready to kick this one off. Squib kick short. From the 12. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. Deep in their own territory. stuck on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. They do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. Inside their own 20. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Just one is handed off. Going into halftime, the score is 24 6. So, before we start the third quarter, here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. The visiting team are lined up for the kickoff. Booming kick downfield. From the two-yard line. The home team face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 16. It's first and ten. in the backfield for a short loss. Paul didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield 
just as soon as you snap the ball. Second and long. Home, the lone back. Under pressure, the protection breaks down, and he's sacked. That's the first time he reached the quarterback tonight. Jill, what do you have? Well, guys, the head coach was pleased to go into halftime with the lead, but he is concerned about the play of his defense. They're just not playing with the intensity and drive that he has come to expect from them. He told me that they are planning to make some subtle adjustments to their defensive scheme that will put his defenders in a better position to make plays. It should be a very interesting second half. Al? Thanks for that report, Jill. A penalty, and the offense will have to run that one again. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the offense has something in a playbook that is designed to get him that much yardage. Surveying the field. Gets rid of it. Right to him. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 31. Big completion on third and long, and that'll keep the drive going. You know, he's so dialed in when it comes to throwing those third down passes, he finds a right man almost every time. And the defense just can't seem to stop him. Bolger out of the gun, passing on first down. He's looking, surveying the field, pressure, can't avoid the run. Right, bust through, takes him down behind the line of scrimmage. He's got a good mix of moves when he rushes. He can beat you with a swim, the club, or the arm over. Now in second and long after the sack. Folger looking to pass, lines up with five wide receivers. With the pass, he finds his man. The pass is completed, but they'll be shy of the first shot. When you let a short pass get completed, you better be a good tackle. About six to go. Folger scans the defense from the gun. Drops back with the throw. Picked off. It's intercepted. The 40. The swarming defense has stifled the opposition, forcing four interceptions. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. The visiting team have not been very successful throwing on first down, but they still have the lead. Well, somehow they've managed to overcome that problem. McMahon could have knocked the wind out of the receiver with that first down throw. That's the one thing. You know that your time is short, and the defense is going to be pushing right in your face on third down. So a shorter drop and a quick throw will usually beat that if you don't need a lot of yardage. The backs are lined up in an eye. Coleman makes the stop at the 23-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. They need six. Fortis, the lone setback. To carry it, loses the defense, slips the tackle. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. So we have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. McNabb sends a man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. Great play in the backfield by Hampton. Hampton gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. And if they can get inside the four, they'll convert for a first down. They have a big, big lead, and they're on the move again inside the 20. Gets the toss to the left. 
big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two-ton truck pulling a the trailer. They went with the running club. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. And if they can get inside before, they'll convert for a first down. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Looking for a receiver. Uses the pump. Incomplete. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. Akers heads out to try this field goal. The kick is up. It's good. Turnovers have now led to 17 points on the board, John. Yep, well, those mistakes on offense have really killed them on this one. The visiting team are set to kick it deep. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the two-yard line. <laughs> Defense intercepted a pass their last time out. <laughs> it's first and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the change. Right. Ball on their own 34. Right. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two yard per carry average. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two yards isn't very good. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. They'll go from the shotgun. Stepping up with the throw, drops the interception. Despite good coverage, he forces the ball in there. And that's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. He lets it go as an incomplete pass rather than an interception. The lineup with six defensive backs. Drops back. Rowan. Picked off. He picked off their opponent five times now. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Bracken pulls him down behind the line. He laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. Yeah, when you run up the middle, the offensive line needs to create some type of room. Otherwise, he's going to bounce right out of there and look for other places to run. And sometimes that'll result in a loss. Out of the shotgun. Dropping back. Dives and makes the tackle. Picked up a few yards on the scramble, John. He's one of those guys who's willing to run to make something happen. You have to be aware of that kind of thing on defense. The lead to get the ball inside the 24 to convert for a first down. The visiting team line up in Tripp's bunch. Gets rid of it. Very high. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. So they have first and ten here. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Throws it. Swing pass to the running back on the left. Court picks up about six after that catch.
They'll need to reach the 11 yard line to convert for the first down. Closing in, the defenders got it. What a play by the veteran. You know, this is one guy who has a pretty impressive list of big plays that he's made over the years. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Well, that's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. Bolger flung that pass in there. Yeah, he can really fire it in there when he needs to. First and ten. someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. Good game for the offense here in the second half. This is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. So I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. They line up in the eye formation. Folger sends a man in motion. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Too much on that throw. Sailing over the receiver's head. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Steps up into the pocket with the throw. He hits his receiver. Thompson catches a beautiful pass, John. And that'll pick up the first down. Yeah, that ball had plenty of motion on it. Nice tight spiral and perfect placement. Ball on their own 43. Holmes lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Aimed it off to the back. Holmes couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. It's second down and 10 to go. Bolger goes to work with an empty backfield. With the pass, and he makes the grab. Porter makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 47-yard line for a first. Holmes, the lone setback. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. He always displays great awareness, and he gets in there and brings him down for a loss. I'll tell you, he might be one of the smartest linebackers in the NFL right now. He anticipates, closes, then boom. He drags the ball carrier down for a loss. Moss into return. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. So they have first and ten here. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. And that's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. And a pickup of about two. It's second down and eight to go. Only one man back. McNabb sends a man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. The 30. Williams with the stop at the 38. And he continues to assert himself with the running game. Ball on their own 38.
Hands it off to the back. Nice play for him. And he can't find a way to keep possession. That one hit him in the hands, but it just couldn't hang on. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's drawn up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Only one man in the backfield. They give it to the halfback. He loses it. The visiting team, the cover, the home team, has lost two fumbles, John. Yeah, they've been the victim of good defensive play. They've got to put it behind them and move on. About six to go. From the gun. With the throw. Across midfield, Thomas brings him down at midfield. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and the first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. Come on now. Let's do they line up in the I formation. Rowing. He's on the run. And he makes the grab. Big pop that time. Boom. Now that is big time football. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Ball on the 37 yard line. Fortis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Gets the toss to the left. Rock behind the line for a loss of the cover. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. Second and long. Only one man in the backfield. Crumpler, the man in motion. Hands it off to the back. Lieber makes the stop at the 33-yard line. Five-yard game. The 27-yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. McNabb from the shotgun. He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your deep cleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got a depleter. So this will be a 48-yard attempt from the 38-yard line. And it's on its way. He missed that one. So they have first and ten here. Holmes lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Almost picked off. He couldn't come up with the interception. The quarterback has all the tools to look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. Field is empty and they'll go with five receivers. Under pressure, good play in the backfield. He just recorded his first sack. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. The defense really bears down on third down. Throwing left. This pass is incomplete. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. They couldn't do a thing on that series other than moving backward. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch.
So they have first and ten here. Fortis, Malone setback. They give it to the halfback. Diving tackle at the 33-yard line. Gain of five on the play. It's second down and six to go. Fortis, the lone back. He dives forward, dives and brings him down. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. And he gets past that marker and picks up a first down. Crumpler comes in motion. On the carry. Lieber records the stop at the 43. And he picks up about four. Second and six coming up here. They line up in the I formation. Hands it off to the back, fakes the handle, slings it to the outside, gets away. They'll mark it at the 44-yard line. Good pass to the fullback on that play, John. And don't be surprised if they look in his direction again. He's not just a solid lead blocker. He can hurt you in the passing game, too. First and ten. The home team come out of the nickel back. Bracken records the tackle at the 43-yard line and a pickup of about two. And they need about nine. Only one man back. Crumpler, the motion man. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. About a one yard loss. So they've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Rowing. The pass ball's incomplete. Fourth down now after they failed to connect on the pass. Quarters. Looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Watch this. This guy's going all out trying to save this from being a touchback. He does a heck of a job of getting there to keep it out of the end zone and set his defense up with great field position. The visiting team come out in a nickel package. They'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Brooks was working in the middle and almost had the interception. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Folger scans the defense from the gun. Folger with a man in motion. Looking for an option. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. The defender was positioned perfectly to get to that ball. When you're playing safety, it's your job to watch the field and see where the ball is going. See where you have to be. He made the play that time, and it was a beauty. The visiting team come out of the quarter defense. With the pass. He has it. Has it. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. 
He threw it right in there for the score. Yeah, he was able to get some space between him and the defender and make the clutch reception. up for the point after the kick is up the point after is good the home team still with a lot of time left and down by two touchdowns as we take a look at his success returning kicks we get ready for the kickoff The home team are ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. From the one-yard line, stiff arm. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in a punt. So they have first and ten here. Fortis is the deep back, gets the call. Setting up play action, he hits his receiver. Jammer makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. McNabb with a good throw on that pass. Not only does he have a powerful arm, but he also has a quick release and accuracy to go along with it. First and 10. The home team come out in a nickel package. Game of six on the play. It's second down and five to go. Fortis, the lone setback. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they have first and ten here. Fortis in the backfield. Fortis. Shovel makes the stop at the 49-yard line. Gain of four. Ball at midfield. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Read it perfectly with single coverage, but the ball was tipped away. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Kardaki is back to punt. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. So we have first and ten here. Hand it off to the back. Breaks free of the defender. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. Three quarters of play and the score is 27-13. And 
That'll start the fourth quarter. About eight yards. Holmes, the deep man. Pressure. He paid for hanging on to the ball a little too long. Price drags him down behind the line. Great play from the defensive end. He's such a disruptive force against the pass, whether he's coming after the quarterback or knocking the ball out of the air. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. They'll go for the shotgun. Dropping back, looking downfield, throwing. And he makes the grab. Thompson gets stopped short of the sticks on that play. <laughs> Sauerbrunn will come in now to punt it away. Moss sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 50. Well, not a bad return. It's time to see what the offense can do now as they come back down onto the field. So they have first and ten here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Going to the right. Coleman makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. So that play goes for about six. They have to get the ball inside the 34-yard line to convert for a first down. The home team come out in a nickel package. Rowing. Incomplete. What a play by the corner to get to that pass. He really had good position on the receiver without interference. The lone back. Gets the pass off. The pass ball is incomplete. Way too high for that pass. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. First and ten. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, picked off, it's intercepted. And it looks like there's a penalty on the play. The offensive line couldn't do the job, and the pressure forced him to make a bad throw into coverage. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary job a heck of a lot easier. And on that play, it led to an interception. So with the ball in the red zone, they have a very good chance of extending that lead. To the left, Newman stops the play in the backfield. He wraps up the ball carrier, and his tackle total is now four. Not what they were looking for in that play call. Yeah, the back just couldn't decide where he wanted to go with it. He hesitated just a little. By the time he decided where he wanted to go with it, the defense was all over him. Only one man in the backfield. Another run. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. And he picks up about four. So on third down, they'll be looking to get it to the eight-yard line or further. The defense lines up in the nickel. Drops back. Throwing left. And this pass is complete. Cole can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Six. 
Akers heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. And it's up. He had plenty of room to spare. The quarters. He's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. The visiting team are lined up for the kickoff. Booming kick downfield. Looking for leverage. Strong move. The defense did a nice job the last time around forcing the interception. It's first and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Hands it off. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Reed makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. Bolger gunned the pass to his receiver. Yeah, great job of holding on to him. That one had steam coming off him. So they have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Great fade. Rolls right. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. He read the single coverage and went for it all on first down. Right. Holmes, the lone back. Dropping back, closing in, gets the pass off. The pass ball's incomplete. Almost, but no catch. He does a good job of using his speed and quickness to get open. The quarterback finds him with a pass, but you can't think about the defender or what you're going to do with it after you make the catch. you got to make the catch first, and then you think about the other stuff later. Gets rid of it. Caught. Madison is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 34-yard line. They move the sticks with that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. So we have first and ten here. They line up with the eye formation. Hand off to the tailback. The 20. Big pop that time. Boom. How fast is big time football? The veteran with a good game. He's taken his share of licks over the years. And hasn't stopped him from busting off long games like that every now and then. It's first and ten. Key series here as they're in the red zone trying to stay in the game. Simon records the tackle at the 16-yard line. Appeared to be a hold on that play. Some of these guys wear jerseys two sizes too small. Or they tape them to their pads to prevent that kind of thing. Folger looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Reed makes the tackle at the nine. Folger has demolished this defense. They've allowed 400 yards. Seventh play of this drive, and they find themselves in scoring range. Folger sends a man in motion. Drops back with the throw, and he dropped it. Morgan did a good job getting open. Gave his quarterback a target in the end zone, but couldn't bring it in. That's got to be disappointing. There's a play they like to run when they're looking to get into the end zone. Everything seemed to work just as it did in practice. And he couldn't find a way to get it under control. Gets the pass off. The pass ball's incomplete. The safety makes a nice play getting to the ball and tipping it away. And he made the play when really the receiver should have had it. Moving to meet the ball is something that some receivers don't do well. And this is the ninth play of this drive.
The visiting team come out in a nickel pack. Barber with the tackle at the two. Foam with a nice run and picks up the first down. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks and the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. Two yards to go for the touchdown. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Rowan. Oh, man. He had it in the end zone to drop it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. 11th play of this drive. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Hand off to the tailback. He gets the ball into the end zone for six. Comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and the extra point is good. The home team have just made it a two-score game. This team can put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole. The home team are set to kick it deep. And he got all of that one, a great kick. Well, John, it looked like he had some room initially, but the blocking just didn't hold up. You have to put some of the blame on the return man, too. It's his job to look downfield and determine if he has a box to work with, well before the ball's out of the end zone. So we have first and ten here. it away you can hear the collision up here he's feeling it right now either that or he's numb all over and that's worse just about a three yard game about eight yards only one man in the backfield drops back gets the pass off Oh, ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. Man, completes the pass for a five-yard gain on second down. It's third down with three to go. The home team come out in a nickel package. He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your deep cleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded, and he got a depleter. First and ten. Forty, the deep back. Forty. He can't wrap him up. The forty. Williams is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 44-yard line. Watch it here. He makes a pretty good adjustment, and he brings him down. He's got the body control and agility to make up for the mistake on his angle of pursuit. Pass play here on first down. Slings it after the line. This pass is incomplete. And that brings up second down. the sixth play of this drive. The visiting team come out in the bunch formation. Rowing. The defense has it. Slips the tackle. Stiff runs the defender to the ground. They drop back into coverage and picked off the pass. That's one of those things where it might have been a good idea to check off some kind of run play at the line. You just can't force passes into coverage like that.
So after the interception now it's first and ten. Looking for room. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Sometimes you can be a little over aggressive on defense like you see here. He had him lined up to be over pursued. He got caught out of position and the ball carrier was able to cut back. Unleashes the deep ball. The pass ball is incomplete. Third down. Upcoming after that long pass ball is incomplete. Tomlinson, the deep back. Drops back. Gets rid of it. And it's intercepted. He's at the 20. The 10. 5. The defender is there to make the play. That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. Akers comes in for the extra point. It's up, and he tacks on the extra point. Quarters get set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats. The visiting team are ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. The last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw, picked up a takeaway. First and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure with the pass. And the catch is made. Folger will be looking at second down now after that pass picks up five yards. Second and six coming up here. Home, the lone back. Pressure, throws it. He finds his man. Dumps the ball out to his receiver, and that'll bring up a first down. First downs are critical in this game. And when the quarterback calls your number, you want to make sure you make the catch and don't mess something up. First and ten. Base, base. Throwing on first down. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. John, it looked like it was tipped at the very last moment by the safety. That was a good read of the quarterback. That's what you need to do when you're playing center field. The visiting team come out in a dime package. Looking for an option. The defender's got it. He always knows where to be, and that time he's rewarded with the interception. And he does an excellent job of reading where the quarterback wants to throw the ball. He'll anticipate the throw and then make the perfect play on it. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. with the stop at the 27 yard line about seven yards there they need to reach the 25 to convert McNabb with a man in motion Brought down behind the line for a short horse. 
veteran safety gets in for the sack. He continues to be a menace for opposing teams. He'll come at a quarterback from the blind side and get a big hit on him. They need to reach the 25 to convert. Shotgun, shotgun. Okay. The home team come out in a nickel package. A lot of room to work. He's at the 20. Lieber with the tackle at the 14-yard line. Right here is how he can hurt you. They get him in a third down situation. But if they can give him a lane to run through, he's going to take it. And right there, he takes it for a big first down. again. William makes the stop at the six-yard line. Horton has been clearly a big part in their offensive play and now has over 125 yards rushing. Six more yards and they'll put up six. They give it to the halfback. He just gets this one past the sticks. Horton has gained enough for another first down, his second of the drive. It's first and goal. Shockey comes in motion. Horton. Great fake. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Hayward coming from his defensive end position gets the sack. And speaking of packing, he's going to be packed in an ice bag in the sideline after taking that hit. Five yards away from the end zone. Fortis, the lone back. Hand it off to the back. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. There to make yet another outstanding defensive play. He made a name for himself with plays like that. He's one of those guys that every defensive coordinator would love to have on his team. He's smart, he plays with good intensity, and he's a heck of a leader on and off the field. James, the lone back. They'll go with a play fake. Not many quarterbacks are capable of touchdown runs like that one. That was a great decision by the quarterback. He decided to keep it and run into the end zone. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Now they've put it together offensively with 14 unanswered points. They have a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Scoring runs like this aren't all that unusual for them. The visiting team are lined up for the kickoff. Booming kick downfield. From the four. The defensive unit forced an interception the last time they were on the field. So they have first and ten here. The visiting team come out in a nickel pack. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two-ton truck pulling the trailer. They get some decent yardage on the run, but John, they're using a precious set. What they really need to do is put the ball in the air. Put the pressure on the secondary. Ball on their own 25. Home, the lone back. Rowing. Great pass. Rowe makes the play at the 37-yard line. Folger zips the ball into the receiver on that one. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. It's first and ten. Hi. 
The home team come out of the bunch formation. Nowhere to go that time. The defensive line gets very good penetration. This line's very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. Dropping back. Closing in with the throw. He hits his receiver. Madison records the tackle at the 48. Bolger continues to deliver on target passes and is now over the 450 yard mark. So they have first and 10 here. They line up in the I formation. Gets the toss to the right. Lewis pulls him down at the 45. They'll get him for holding here. I didn't really see a hold on that one. That could be one of those phantom calls. Ball on their own 42. Get up, B. Get up. Folger out of the gun. Pass play here on first down. He surveys the field. And it's complete. Lewis makes the stop at the 46. Folger completes that one, and it goes for about four yards. It's second down and 15 to go. The visiting team come out in a dime package. With the throw, he finds his man. Breaks the tackle. Good catch on second and long that picks up the first down. That one was about pass rush and pass protection. The offensive line was successful in what they had to do to make sure the quarterback had the time he needed. Seventh play of this drive. Thanks, thanks. Like right. Mad dog over. Only one man back. Brooks hauls him down behind the line. He really pounds him there, recording his 11th tackle. They're not just going to give up on the run, no matter how ineffective it is. First down marker just inside the 27. The quarterback is back in the shotgun, throwing. Incomplete pass. And the quarterback is able to tip it away from the intended receiver. He got a good sense of knowing where the ball will come down and when to make his move. Ninth play of this drive. Folger goes to work with an empty backfield. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Did a good job reading the coverage, but couldn't get it there. Tenth play of this drive. They're in a tough spot here, but they have to go for it. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Pass ball's incomplete. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. In this type of situation, the team needs to try anything they can to get into the end zone. This time, they fell short. Let's get him. Come on. The backs are lined up in an eye. Lieber hauls him down behind the line. The defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. They do a good job of shedding blockers when they're rushing the passer. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. They'll go from the I formation. Defensive line loves to run block, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Two minute warning coming up.
two minutes to the final gun. Nickelback in this time. Flag down. And he jumps the snap count. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. And we've reached the two-minute mark. And he'll get the call. Snip off. We'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got hit, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Good defensive staying there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. Changing the play now. Bolger out of the gun. Surveying the field. Gets the pass off. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. But it might be a little too late. Quarterback back in the shotgun. With the throw. And it's complete. He was able to hit his target. Picking up the first in the process. And that's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. Goes over the middle. Almost does. Brooks had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. And he'll drop a few like that one. Home, the deep man. Dropping back. Gets rid of it, and it's caught. Bullock makes the play at the 32. Third and four. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Under pressure, Rowan, and he dropped it. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Sixth play of this drive. Well, if the defense can stop him one more time, they'll get it back. With the pass, off target, but he gets it. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got popped. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. They'll go with a hurry-up offense. Pressure. Looking left for the long pass. Incomplete. Tried to jam it into the receiver who was doubled, and the pass gets tipped away. Just over a minute still to go. They line up in the I formation. Closing in, throws on the board. Swings this pass to his running back out on the right side. Looks like he's calling an audible. Throws it, and it's intercepted. The alert cornerback gets the interception. He has a way of becoming a receiver. He just shadows so well. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. Second and long coming up here. Harris 
Anderson, the motion man, hands it off. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Portis wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Lieber makes the tackle at the 42. Trying to take time off the clock with the lead. What do you think, John? Are they a little too conservative here? Well, maybe you want to give the other team as little time as possible. They're pretty comfortable running it, and falling short of the first isn't a big deal because you keep the clock moving. He'll try to pin them close to the goal line. A lot of scoring, but a one-sided game. 